How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph for Customs? Back on the Triumph Chopper. Uh, great start to the week. We've made a new oil tank from an old fire extinguisher. So it's a bullet shaped oil tank. Check it out. Who's a good girl, Eddie? Who's a good girl, me? Yes, you are. So, we're going to make an oil tank from this fire extinguisher. Yeah, I managed to wrestle the top nozzle spray a bit out, and uh, I'm going to try and get it in the bandsaw and chop it down to the right width, and weld the two halves together, weld some fittings in it, smooth off this big fucking spouty nipple bit where the glands thing went in, and uh, go from there. So we've got everything adjusted out as far as it'll go and I think with a couple of turns we can make it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. You can join me again once we're done cutting down to size. Right oh, so we've cut that. And what I'm going to do now is I would need to clean these ends up, the cut ends, and I want to clean the outside up so it looks lovely and spun, um, and clean the rest of this residual off. So I'm just going to machine it down with this round, excuse me, insert tool, uh, and then try and work something out for turning this round and holding it. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that because we gripped it internally. I think it's too big. Maybe if I spin my jaws round, I can grab the outside, but it's not going to help me because I need to hold this end to machine this edge. So, we'll see what happens, eh? Okay, so I can't get right up to the jaw. I think I'm going to have to flip them around, uh, flip this around, put it in a four jaw to get to this very, very edge and get to the face to face off. This one, same, I think. The, the, my three jaw is too small for it. I thought about putting a... a backing plate, doing it that way with a bulb through the centre, but it's still, it's just, you know, just a pain, but I can rough out, I can get the, the outside edge roughed out, um, and what I can do is, once I find the depth of cut on this surface with this tool, I can zero my DRO in either absolute or incremental, and I can save that, and then when I put this tool back in, and do the other half, I can take it back to zero, and it'll be exactly the same, same size on the outer diameter, so that's not all is not lost, but it's tricky. Let's give it a fucking clean up. Okay? I've ended up taking uh, 1.75 cut, so just over three mil, three and a half millimeters off to uh, get that through, get through the paint and through the crap. And now I'm going to clean this up um, because it's it's curved. I've not got a curve making attachment, a ball or a cutter or whatever. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll get the, the worst of this off. We're going to end up with a flat spot on the end anyway. And I'm going to cap it off with uh, a piece of aluminium. So I'll give this a clean. Uh, I'll pop the other half in. We'll pop this half in. I'll take that to the same diameter on the outside, based on my DRO with this tool. And we'll go from there.
so as you've seen, we've got this up in the four drawer because it's bigger and it holds it nice. Um, and I'm just going to put a bit of a, a radius on this, a bit of a chamfer on this. And then what I'm going to do is uh, go over to the Atlas and make a threaded adapter for the other part of it. Bear with. For this part of it, this has got the thread in the top where the original fitting goes. I'm going to make a plug that screws in there. And that's going to enable me to hold it as well. So I can screw a plug in, hold it, machine this or get it how I want it. And then I can use that plug to blank it off. I can weld the plug in, machine it nicely. So I'm going to chamfer this and I'm going to make a plug for that. And then the two halves are ready to be tacked together. Shit. <laughs> well, we just change having to change around to get the angle that we want. Which is, this thing's so tight, it's like you wouldn't put it in the Just having a bit of a switch of roof. Better. Think, let's see what happens. See how this goes. I measured this, it's almost an inch thick, the bottom, so I think we'll be alright to take a bit off. What do you reckon? See that shit out the way. Let the dog see the rabbit. Uh, a quick change of plan. I cannot find the absolute correct thread size for this fitting. Uh, Google is not my friend this morning. I've checked and double checked and I'm not confident that I can actually turn a piece with the right thread so it's not going to fit properly. So plan B is to bore the hole out to a, any size, a nominal size, whatever I fancy and then we're going to turn a bit of round aluminium that's going to press in there and then we can weld that in place instead. So we ain't got to worry about the threading. Bish bash bosh. Let's do it. Put it in gear off it. Not those threads off. And work our way out cleaning that ball up. I'm literally just putting the thread out. It's not going to be much more than there. A little bit more than there then, okay, and we're on it. Here we go. All the way down. That's the route. Let's see what we've got. It presses, well, it just slides in, give it a good clean up. I've uh, made a little step in it that you probably can't pick up on the camera that sits in a recess in the top. And there it is cooling down, still fucking red hot. Oh, it's still torch to torch. Let's have a look how oh, it's not that hot, is it? <laughs> it's 100 degrees. Yeah, fuck that, I ain't touching that. Hey, we'll get that up in the lathe once it's cooled off, true everything up. We can prep this face now for welding to the other half um, and go from there. So that's got that cup welded in and nearly cleaned off. I've just left myself a little bit that I can use a revolving centre in so I can drop it back in the lathe if I need to. 
Uh, we've got it tacked up. I won't spin it round because it's just done its fucking off. Now I need to make some mounts and we need to make the oil fittings. Quarter. Uh, bit. Yeah, I've just got a bit of uh, round aluminium stock in. Give it a quick clean up. I don't even know what size I've done it to. It's not important. 25.26 is, but not that it matters. Um, I'm going to put an M10 thread in. I wasn't going to bother filming it, but I thought, why not? So I've put a pilot oil in. Sorry, the centre. I've used a centre drill to make it a pilot hole. And then we go with the 8.2 cobalt, this is, which is the size for M10. And then we're going to plunge a machine tap in. So let's just. I think that they want to be. Um, each one of those wants to be about 25 mil long. So I need 50 mil of thread plus 3 mil for the cut between on 53 mil. So if I set my slide on this to 10, where the thread, where the hole starts, about air and then go to 60, I won't be far off. So away we go. I'll get this drilled out and join you again when I'm tapping. Now I'm literally just going to touch on this, just to give myself a little bit of lead in, just there, just enough. Just to give myself a bit of a chamfer on that, the thread will go in and it'll be a lovely little thing. Um, then I'll part it off. I don't think I'll be able to thread that full depth that I need, so I'll probably part both off and then pop one back in. Do the sham for I do the thread. And then we'll let that take that and thread it in. We'll just go the full tap, like I said, and then we'll pop this off. Wait, oh, I'm slipping. It's unusual. <clears throat> back it out a bit. Go again. There we go. Just a full thread. And then I'll part it off. Hello. I'll part it off and finish the other one off. And that's the second one done. It's fucking off. <laughs> there you go. So, what I need to do now is keep this uh, around. I'm waiting for a tap to come for the quarter BSP pipe fittings that we're going to put into the tank for the oil lines. Um, and we'll use this stop to do that. So, what I'll probably do is run a clean up pass. Turn that on. Run a clean up pass down the length a bit. Yeah, we've got that much left, which is going to be plenty. So, I'm going to hold it there. And put a center in it. I'm going to clean up past down the length and then that can be saved to make the fittings for the oil lines. Meanwhile, we've got, ha, 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 we've got the mounts made, ready to go on. So the next thing we've got to do is make a filler and a filler cap. So again, we've gone to the old stockpile Found ourselves a bit of this inch and a half, or whatever size I think it is, inch and a half diameter, and we're going to make uh, those out of that. Right over then. I've spared you the boredom of watching me clean up that bit of round stock. <coughs> Excuse me. What I've done, I've turned a section down to 26 mil diameter, and I'm going <coughs> to thread that. If I ever get my voice back, <coughs> I'm going to thread that. 1.5 pitch so 26 by 1.5 and i'll do the female to suit what i'm doing now i'm just going to know this end um i've got it up learning's a funny thing i always thought it was a bit it's a miss but there's a few golden rules um plenty of pressure not too fast and a nice steady fit for me so i'm going to oil it up nice and generously because it will be cut in and I'm only doing a, a short strip, 20-ish, 20 millimetres-ish, 20 let's have a look. Move that along a bit, look. Back that out, look. Take some pressure off, move it along. Crank some pressure on. This is before I run it off, that's how I do it. Plenty of oil on. 
like you're basting your best chunky chicken. And then we're going to feed it that way while we're running it in the back gears. Look, nice and slow. Now we'll do that, we'll click and feed in if it'll have it. And it can feed its way nice and slowly off the job. And that should give us a lovely nailed finish to the top of the uh, oil filler, top of the knob. I've cut a little recess for an o-ring, so I'll screw down, have an o-ring, and have a nailed top. Let's have a sneaky peek. Oh, oh yeah, good. Well, you love it. So we'll keep it, keep it well oiled, keep your brush away now. I mean, you can see that's had a chunk or two out of it, and it's doing this that's done it. Anything, anything that goes in them rollers will not be let go of. Will be passed through. So fingers, tyres, shirt sleeves and fucking brushes, beware. And there we go, we're there now. That's good halfway on the roller. So you can stop it, knock it off, wind it out of the way. Give it a good clean up. Get set up to cut the threads. Okay, so that nailing came out really nice. We're all tooled up. Just need to check the eye on that tool actually. Get my eye gauge. It is. Fanny's there. Oh, they may be. No, no, it's all good. Right. So, what I'm going to do is just touch on like that there Whoa. maybe not quite that aggressive but that'll be right um, and then I'm going to engage the lead screw I'll go along and disengage the lead screw according to the instructions I can pick any line on the gear wheel that's spinning so uh, double check that 1.5 any line on indicator right here we go then Put a little cut on, so just a little cut, pick a line, any line, that one. and then have it off, and that should be 1.5, if I knew where my thread gauge was, <coughs> there's this one eh? So we're looking for 1.5 on the Richter scale, which is 1.5, and that is, oh that's straight in, that's lovely, 1.5, so we'll just do a couple more passes, a few more passes, a bit of lube on, <coughs> what I'm worried about, the tool's coming real close to this edge, so, so we're going to have to watch that. Okay, last pass, little spring pass for a line to come, here we go, pause at the end, I'm just going to nudge it over and clear the end of the thread and just chamfer that edge slightly while I'm at it, look, have that, so that now, <coughs> it's looking quieter please, is there, that's finished, I'm going to pop that off, turn it round, wrap this with something and clean the ends up, clean the end up. Right, what I've decided in my wisdom is I'm not going to part this off and try and clean it up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to the side and cut it off. I'm going to put it to one side. Then I'm going to make the female part, screw that into it and put the whole lot back in the lathe to clean the end of this up. So I'm going to cut that off, put this stock back in, face the end up um, and bore it out to take that thread out, whatever size I did it, 26 mil. I need a 26 mil female thread down inside of a tube that I'm going to make. Yeah, sorted. So we've, we've trimmed that off, we've got the stock back in, faced it off. I'm going to centre drill it and then drill it out to what am I doing? 26 mil less the pitch. That's 1.5, it's 25, 24.5. I can note that. 24.5 is the old. And it's going to be more than 25 deep to get me something to work to. So, 
the best get on. A little bit of loop, because that's what separates us from the animals. Chip that in there like that. And we'll switch it out for a nice chunky drill bit. So we'll go dirty deep with a pilot, with a 10mm pilot. Before taking it out, 21 and a quarter this is. I know it's an odd size. There you go. A 21 mil we'll call it. And now we're on to a boring boss. Sorry for the shaky camera. I keep it in pause. Yeah. And then it wobbles a bit because the older it's on. So there you fucking go. Now we've got a boring bar in. I'm going to set out 24.4 mil. We can only go that depth, we need to be careful that we don't put on them out. So, I'll do, I'll take a little trial cut. Like that. And then, we'll have a quiet measure. We're on 24.5. So we've got 22.3. 22.3. Zero the x axis, and we want 24.5, so we want 2.2 millimeters, don't we? Or 1.1 cut. So, there we go. Let's do a couple of mil at a time, mil a mil and then a mil. We're going to go. We'll just do a sanity check once we've done this one. I know I can only go 29D, so 25, 27, 28, 29, woo, at the bottom of the hill. There she goes, Captain. Now we should be on about 23 and a half. So we're on just over 23. So we can go another mil. And so on and so forth until we get it to size. And then I'll join you again. Okay, so I've brought that out. I parted it off. I've cleaned the face up. I've got myself a little relief for the both for the thread and for the O-ring. I might make that a little bit bigger before I take it out. But we're all set up ready to thread. Same as before. Uh, I'm going to do 1.5 full depth of cut. So three quarters of a mil depth of cut at 1.5 uh, pitch. I've touched off. I've zeroed off. I'm going to get loud as we get ready to rock and roll. So I'm just going to take a, a nice light pass. Yeah, just a few thou. I'm just waiting for a number to come round. And off we go, look. There we go. And we wait for it to clear the end. There. Wind it in. Pull it out. Wind it back. Another cut now, so we're going half a millimetre, bit tenth out, find the line, do the cut, wait for it to go all the way through, there, knock it off, wind it in, pack it out, wash, rinse, repeat. I'll join you when I've done. Now here we go on the spring pass, little final clean up, and then we'll give it a try, eh? Wait for that to clear. There we go. Wind it in. Back it out. Get me nut. Give it a quick blow. Nearly. Nearly there. Just starting and tightening up a little bit. So. Take a little bit more now. Whoa, come on. Yeah, there, look. Just, just starting and then tightening up. So we'll take a little bit more out and carry on from there. Okay, okay. Try again, Tom. Looks good. Looks like it should work. Just, just 
Starts the times up. So any, anyway, I'll, I'll carry on. I'll just get out of clean up and get it all screwed together. And see you in a minute. So, <clears throat> if the compressor would show up, you might be able to hear me. But there, just needed a few more passes. Snugs up lovely. So what I'm now going to do is face up this end while it's screwed in its tube. And then that's the lead side of this bit done. Uh, there is more work to do on it, but we'll be doing that over on the milling machine. So, hold on, just sort of speed to speed down, bear with. Off we go. We'll give this a quick clean up. Just like this. Give it a shampoo. That's ready for the next stage. <clears throat> so, what we've got, we've got the filler neck, the tube that I made, and we've got the uh, fly cutter that I made actually. I'll try and link to it if I remember. And I've set this radius the same as the radius on the tank so that we can shape the bottom of this ready to weld it um now there's not a lot of it to grab hold of so i'm not going to go mad i'm going to take very sensible light cuts and um, i've supported the other side of my vice with a machine jack as you should stop the the vice twisting and losing more grip you know i want to keep this back jaw straight they don't move that much, but better safe than sorry. So I'm going to chip, chip, chip away at that until it's the right shape and then drill through the tank, and get it welded on. And there we have it. I'm just dropping it back down, dropping the table back down after the last cut. I'm not too worried about the finish because it's a welded joint that's never going to be seen. And nice and steady. I'd be devastated if, that, if I lost grip on that and it went shooting out of ice. Can you imagine? <laughs> there we go, Queen Mary's in dock. So we finished those quarter BSP fittings. I didn't. I did that off camera because you've seen me machine and cut threads on the lathe, um, and we've got things ready to weld them into position. One in the top, one in the bottom. Liquor in the front, poker in the rear. And there's the finished thing in situ. It's hard to frame. <laughs> Woohoo, I'm fucking I'm nearly falling over back. It's a big long thing, isn't it, for sure. The bike, not the tank. There's the bullet tank in situ. Very pleased with that. I'm just hoping there's enough room for the fitting. Now I've done the bracket. Uh, if not, I'll just cut it, weld it both sides and, you know, make it into two separate tabs. It's no big deal. Bottom one's underneath. And to the uh, side away from the chain. Filler's all good. Screws up, tightens down, it's got the O-ring. Breather's in the pipe work, not in the tank on these, I've checked. So, there we fucking go, folks. There's a bullet style, aluminium oil tank, fabricated from a fire extinguisher 
and round aluminium stock. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. For regular updates, check out my friends in the description below. Have a great one. I'm not sure.